were soft and warm on her, and then his hand touched her face. Let us sleep a little, he said. Okay. Uh, do you know why he keeps saying, I am a man? He's saying, I'm in charge. Okay, um, he, they're talking about moving a fireplace stone. Uh, I don't know how you do it here, but the uh, American Indians, they start a fire and then they heat up stones and then they don't have to use as much wood. The stone continues to burn, so it'll keep you warm uh, all night. And she probably wasn't moving that with her hand. She's probably got a shovel or something because it would be a burning stone. When the stone burns, uh, it will actually become ash after a while. It'll burn down to ash. Okay. Pew. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, follow her. He could hear her quick footsteps. Footsteps. Going to walk the beach. Quietly, he kept her. She slowed down while she walked over the rock near the water. And then she heard him coming and she ran. Her arm was up. He, he, he jumped at her and crossed her arm and took the pearl out of her hand. He hit her in the face and she fell in the rock and he kicked her in the, in the side. Okay, not good, not good, huh? <laughs> She says she was not afraid. I don't understand that. <laughs> I, I would be. Okay. All right, next. He heard the sound, got his nice sound, and he asked someone, his, uh, his nice go in, and then he walked foot to the ground. A hairy hand went through his Possess searching him. The pole fell from his hand and lay be behind a little stone in the past. It's thrown in the soft moonlight. moonlight. Okay. Um, felt. I'm going to say felt. You have to say that T on the end. Felt. Felt. 
Does everyone know what greedy is? Greedy is when somebody wants more than they need. Um, if, if I live my life only to make money, I'm probably greedy. <laughs> OK. When a poor person acts from the rocks, who does what he pain and who sight for it? He was not angry with him when he said, I'm a man. That means something to one. It means that he was half crazy and half God. <laughs> It means that Kino could fight a mountain. One of as a woman knew that many not mountains break. But it was this thing that made him a man, half crazy and half poor. And Una needed a man. She couldn't live without a man. Sometimes the reason a woman could cut through the man and save them all. She climbed playfully to her feet and wash her face with the salt water. Then she went up the beach, up the key. Okay. So this is set in a time when women didn't have rights, really. The husband owned her. So she's, uh, she's being very kind to him, considering <laughs> what he's just done. But uh, she also doesn't have a lot of power in marriage. Okay. Jonah went through the line of small trees and saw the shining great pearl in the path behind a log. She dropped it to her knees and picked it up. Then she saw two dark bodies lying in the path in front of her. One was Kino and the other was Stranger with blood on his neck. Okay. Everybody say rock. 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 Dropped. Rock. Okay, good. Good. Okay, Susie. Kino moved slowly and straight. Sound came from his mouth. His bloody knife lay next to him. Now Juna knew that the old wife was gone forever until man in the pack and Kino's body night helped her understand this so now she forgot the pack. Immediately they would always save the family. Okay, uh, let's everyone say slowly. 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 Strange. 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 Um, immediately. 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 That means right now. Right now. Yeah, that's immediately. Okay. Uh, okay. Cute. What's going on? Her slowness. Slowness. Mm hmm. Quickly, she pulled the dead man from the past and into the tree. She went to Kino and washed his face with her wet skull. Okay, Rainbow. They have taken the pearl. I have lost it, he said. The pearl is gone. Be quiet, Jonah said. Here is your pearl. I found it on the path, on the path. Can you hear me now? Here is your pearl. Can you understand? You have pure man. We must go away. They will come for us. Can you understand? We must go before the daylight comes. Okay. Next. I was at test. He will say, I cry, I feel killed. Kill him to save my life. Do you remember yesterday? Juna asked, Do you think that will matter? Do you remember the names of the child? Do you think your words will help? No, she said. 
You are right. And this my heaven hardened. Pardon me. She was a man again. Go to our house and bring Poyotito. She said, and bring all the corn that we have. I will put the funnel into the water and she will go. Okay. Everyone say life. 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 And canoe. Canoe. Okay. He took his. He took his knife and left her. He walked to the beach and he came to the to his canoe. And then he saw a great hole knocked into the bottom, in the bottom, and he was angrier now, and this made him stronger. Now the darkness was clothing in on his family. The eerie music filled the night. The candle of his grandfather with a hole broken in it. This was a great evil. The killing of a man was not as evil as the killing of a boat. A boat doesn't have sons, and a boat cannot perfect itself. Kino was an animal now. He lived only to save his life and his family. He never feel the pain in his head. He ran up the beach toward his house. He never even thought of thinking one of the candles of his 